Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Lay down and make sure that you're completely comfortable. Check that the light is just right in your room and you're snuggly and cuddly with your favorite teddies and toys. Try and stay as still as you possibly can through the story. Once upon a time, there was a boy, a boy called Freddy, and Freddy loved to ride his bike. That was the most important thing for Freddy in the entire world, and this year, he got old enough to ride his bike to school and back, which was the bestest thing ever. Freddy thought it was super cool because he'd met so many friends. Who would have thought that just going to school on your bike would have you meet so many friends? This story is all about Freddy and his friends. Every day, Freddy would bump into Reagan and his little sister, Kiara. Today, Freddy shouted, Morning! And Reagan and his little sister Kiara shouted, We're going on a field trip today! We're going to the aquarium! How cool is that? said Reagan. That's cool, said Freddy. Let me know all about it when I see you tomorrow. Have a good day! Freddy always, every day, saw Toby, but today Toby was on a field trip too. Toby was on the back of a fire truck. He was with a bunch of boys and girls, and they were all super excited. Toby shouted, Hi, Freddy! And Freddy shouted, You on a field trip too today? Yes, yeah, said Toby. We're going on the fire truck. How cool is this? And then the fire truck made this deep, rumbling, boop, boop sound, which was very cool. And all the kids on the fire truck was cheering and jumping. Yay, do it again, do it again. Freddy kept riding his bike, and then he bumped into Sally. Sally was walking to school with her mom, and she shouted, Hey, Freddy, stop by the house later. I have a new lizard. She's called Lola, and she's really funny and cute. Freddy waved and said, Okay, I'll try. I'll stop by later. I'll see you at school. Bye. Haley was out with her parents walking the dog. They had a mini golden doodle called Bear, and it was fluffy and golden and very cute. Hi, Bear, shouted Freddy. Haley looked up. Hi, Freddy. You going to school? Yes, yeah, said Freddy. I'll see you at school. Okay, bye, said Haley. DK was one of the boys that Freddy went to school with, and he was walking out of the bakery just as Freddy was passing. He had the biggest, fattest, chocolate chip cookie that Freddy had ever seen. DK loved cookies. He was like walking out of the stall with this giant cookie that was as big as his head. Freddy, have you seen the size of this one? They're only selling them as a special. Make sure that you stop by today on your way home and get one of these giant cookies. They're amazing. I'll see you at school later, said Freddy. Enjoy your cookie, DK. He rode past Kelsey and pulled up slower and then stopped in front of her. Kelsey was sat on a bench reading a book about zebras. Are you, read, are you reading a book about zebras again? Don't you read? Don't you ever read about anything else? said Freddy. There isn't enough books out there about zebras, 
I love zebras, said Kelsey. This one's exceptional. It has all the different facts and information about zebras that you would ever want to know. 101 facts about zebras. I'll loan it you if you like. No thanks, said Freddy. I'll see you at school in a bit. With that, he got back up on his bike and started riding off again. He rode through the community gardens on his way to school and he always saw two gardeners there, Bill and Ben. Today, Bill shouted, Hey, Freddy, we've got so many tomatoes right now. Stop by on your way home from school and we'll give you a bag for your mom, okay? Freddy shouted, Cool, what are you planting today, guys? Cucumbers, said Ben. Lots of cucumbers. I love cucumbers, said Freddy. See you guys tomorrow. Freddy rode by Mason and her brother Maverick. They were going shopping with their mom. No school today, Mason? No, she said. We have to go shopping. We're going on holiday tomorrow and we need shorts and I need a bikini and Maverick needs shorts for the ocean. We've already put in for our holidays. But today is a special day because we're excited and we're going shopping for all our holiday clothes. How long are you going for, said Freddy? Where are you going? We're going to Spain, said Maverick. We've never been to Spain before. We're super excited. Have fun in Spain, said Freddy. I'll see you guys when you get back. And he kept on riding. He was almost at school when Kamara joined him on her bike. There was a spot on his ride where he bumped into Kamara every single day and they finished their ride together. They always parked their bikes in the same place next to each other at school. They were exceptionally good friends because they talked about bike riding with each other all the time. They had a lot in common. Freddy and Kamara and some of their classes were even together that night after school Freddy rode home part of the way with Kamara she went down a different road and left him and shouted I'll see you tomorrow bye said Freddy he stopped at the gardens and picked up the tomatoes for his mum he stopped at Sally's house and met Lola the lizard. He popped into the bakery and got a cookie, a chocolate chip cookie, as big as his head. And then he rode the rest of the way home. When he got home, he had his dinner, then he had the giant cookie. He went upstairs, had a shower, put on his PJs, and got into bed. It was a long day. It's a long day when you're riding your bike to school and back. It takes a lot of energy. Freddy was tired. He put his head down on his pillow and pulled his covers up to his chin. They smelled clean and fresh like Mum had just washed them. Freddy thought that that was one of the bestest smells in the world. A nice, clean bed. It wasn't long before he turned his nightlight off and closed his eyes. Decided it was time for him to sleep and rest. Freddy always did this thing before he fell to sleep, which helped him every night to go to sleep. He had a couple of minutes where he would say everything that he was thankful for that day. He was thankful that he bumped into DK, who told him about the giant cookie in the bakery. He was definitely thankful about that. That was on the top of his list. He was thankful that he got a chance to meet Lola. 
Sally's new lizard. He was thankful for all the friends that he'd made since he'd been riding his bike to school and back. The tomatoes were so good that Bill and Ben gave them. His mum made tomato and cheese sandwiches and they were really tasty. He was very thankful for those tomatoes. He was thankful for his friend, Kamara. And now it was so easy being her friend. She was so fun and easy to talk to. He was thankful that he had a friend that was easy to talk to and that had lots in common with him. He thought of everything that he could possibly be thankful for, which took him about five minutes. It was a lot to be thankful for, he thought. He'd had a really good day that day. And with that, being thankful and grateful always made him feel warm inside. It made his tummy feel nice. It made his heart swell. He liked being thankful. Being thankful and grateful for things he thought was so much better than than not appreciating anything or being angry about stuff. Finishing your day with a heart full of gratitude was a very good idea, thought Freddy. And that's why he did it every single night. He took a nice deep breath and let his body get snuggly and comfy into the sheets and into the mattress. His pillow felt exceptionally soft tonight. His head got heavy. And when he thought about it, all the tiny little muscles in his face softened and relaxed. His body got sleepy. He could feel his arms getting heavy and tired. Felt nice. He decided his legs were very heavy after all the bike riding. It was so good to just lay down and be still and quiet. Sometimes if he let himself, he would get carried away and start thinking about what he was going to do tomorrow. All the different people he would meet on his way to school. And he would do this thing where he would just take a breath. Tell his mind to stop thinking about tomorrow and start enjoying what he was doing right now, which was relaxing in bed. His body felt very warm and safe and comfortable, and he tried to focus on that. And of course, this helped him go to sleep much, much quicker than if he was laid thinking about all the different things he would be doing tomorrow. That really wouldn't get him anywhere, would it? Whenever the thoughts would creep back into his head or he would find himself chasing something in his mind, he would take a breath and bring himself back to that original thought, be here now. Focus on your body, relax. Let tomorrow wait. Right now, it's time to sleep and rest, he would say to himself. It didn't take very long before he was dreaming about all the wonderful things in the world. His body was definitely asleep. His mind was definitely dreaming in dreamland. But he was comfortable 
and tired and fast asleep. <laughs> 